West Michigan contains some of the most spectacular and diverse habitats in the world. From its dense forests to its picturesque dunes on Lake Michigan, Michiganders are rarely ever more than a few minutes away from somewhere illuminating the natural beauty of the state. The Grand Rapids Public Museum's West Michigan Habitats exhibit is an exploration into the ecosystems of Michigan and how humans affect the environment. Connect with a rich landscape of living things that coexist in these unique habitats. West Michigan's woodlands are historically the most abundant natural ecosystems in the state. When European settlers first came to Michigan, around 90% of all land was covered by forests. As Michigan's forests began to be cleared for lumber and farmland, the amount of forested land became smaller. Today, around one-third of land in lower western Michigan is forested as the need for housing and farmland grows. Still, much of Michigan remains forested. These thick woodlands consist primarily of deciduous trees such as maple, oak, beech, elm, and ash trees, which lose their leaves in the winter. A wide variety of animals make their homes in the woodlands. Bird species of every shape, size, and color make their homes in the foliage. Small mammals such as chipmunks and squirrels scurry along the forest floor and into trees. Larger animals such as bobcats, woodchucks, skunks, and deer find food and take shelter under the cover of these forests. Wetlands are abundant in Michigan. Our climate, lower elevation, and numerous freshwater lakes, rivers, and streams means marshlands are sprawling. Wildlife thrives in these wetland areas. Waterfowl and other bird species make their homes and forage for food secure from predators under the cover of large reeds. Amphibious mammals like minks and beavers can successfully find food and shelter with abundant resources constantly refreshing these areas. Reptiles like snakes and turtles, along with amphibians such as frogs, are often found in these wetland habitats because of their proximity to water and therefore food. Under the surface of the water, life blooms just as it does above. Fish feed on aquatic insects and their populations flourish. These fish provide food for birds of prey flying above. It is a food web in balance. These ecosystems are not just bursting with life. They are also vital to the health of our land, water, air, and even to humans. Marshes absorb excess runoff water, helping to prevent flooding. They serve as water purifiers as mud settles in their quiet pools, while plants and other living things break down other pollutants. Marshes also filter air pollution, such as car exhaust and carbon dioxide, which help prevent climate change and keep humans and other living things healthy. Marshlands represent a diverse ecosystem in balance between aquatic and terrestrial life. When massive glaciers covering Michigan melted thousands of years ago, they left behind fine sand, which over time built up with winds and currents to create dunes on the eastern shores of Lake Michigan. Though sand dunes are common throughout the world, very few are similar to Michigan's dunes. Our dunes are intermingled with the forests that encroach on the shoreline. Within the barren sands, dune grasses spring to life. With enough shade, taller grasses and small shrubs begin to grow. These are eventually joined by small trees and flowering plants. Richer soil is made from their dropped leaves and twigs, which helps oaks, birch, and aspens rise from the now soil-covered sand. Within 200 years, the white-sanded hills are transformed into a lush, forested back dune, alive with a variety of plants and animals. The shores of Lake Michigan brings joy to thousands of visitors every year and for good reason. These white sand beaches and the lush forests have something for any outdoor enthusiast. Lake Michigan is in many ways a freshwater ocean. Its massive size and volume make it ingrained into the cultures and communities surrounding it. It even affects Michigan's climate, making our farms bountiful and snowfall heavy during the winter. 
However, Lake Michigan's ecosystems are also fragile. Pollution from farms and industry are not only harmful to the plants and animals in our waters, but also to humans. When toxins are in the water, fish, and produce we eat, people are in danger from a variety of harmful effects. The ecological balances are also disrupted by various species of plants and animals invading our lakes from outside the region. Zebra mussels came to the Great Lakes in the ballast of ships in the 1980s. They often grow in thick mats, outcompeting native clam and mussel species. Though they filter water, removing some pollutants from it, they also remove plankton and algae from the water, which are essential food for native species in the food chain. Sea lamprey, eel-like fish, which entered the Great Lakes through shipping channels connected to the ocean in the 1800s, now infest Lake Michigan and connected rivers. They feed on native fish by attaching to the fish with their suction cup-like mouth lined with small, sharp teeth, rasping away at the fish's flesh and feeding on its blood. This often kills the fish it's attached to. Fortunately, the state of Michigan, along with other organizations, are working to reduce the impacts of invasive plants and animals and make our waters good habitats for native species. West Michigan's habitats are teeming with life, living things big and small, historic and contemporary. We are compelled to understand the complex ebb and flow of the ecosystems in which we live. It is our responsibility to be the stewards of these special places, so people will be able to enjoy Michigan's natural beauty for years to come. <laughs>